It is first thing in the morning, man. I want to eat some food. Rise and shine. I do not know how people wake up and aren't hungry. As soon as my eyes open, my stomach is like, let's eat. So this is my common breakfast that I'm having at the moment. Six egg whites, three yolks, and one avocado and a fruit smoothie. And obviously a pint of water to get hydrated. So let's whip this up. So feathers on this bad boy. Because I'm having an avocado, which is obviously high in fats, I'm taking out three of the yolks. I could obviously buy um, egg whites, but I prefer just to buy the whole eggs myself because then I kind of know where it's coming from. I see the egg itself. It's not just kind of in a plastic tub. I've always had such a high protein diet. Lots of people always say, you know, um, one gram, 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. I've kind of gone along with that but I've always been a little bit on the higher end of the scale. You know, I've never been one to be exactly 200 grams, 250 grams. I kind of aim for the 300 plus above. I know people are gonna be like, that's far too much. But I actually heard a recent study come out saying that we can actually digest more than 25 grams at once. I mean, if you look at, look at those bodybuilders as well, you know, like they are definitely eating more than 25 grams per meal. I'm all about a higher protein diet, not worrying about the exact gram um, per pound of body weight, kind of just making sure that your protein is extremely high. I mean, even around 14 years ago, I put out a tweet. This is before I even knew that much about diet or training, just saying that people underestimate how much protein they need to grow. And a nutritionist with loads of followers, I can't remember his name, agreed with me and retweeted it. So that shows even back then that people were agreeing with the fact that people underestimate how much protein they need to grow. So up your protein game. A little bit of oil in there. And then I pour a bit out because I don't want all the oil in there. And then someone told me not to mix them in the bowl before I pour them in. Because it makes a difference. I can't see how that makes any difference whatsoever. How does that make any difference? If you beat the eggs, it changes how much protein is in them. No, this is not true. Have you heard those people talking about the fact if you blend up a banana, it changes compared to if you just eat it normally? I mean, that's got to be crazy. I don't even know if that is true. You know, I'm not all about like, oh, I'm going to try and make this meal fantastic because it's just going to go in in about two seconds. I'm going to inhale this bad boy. Oh my gosh, look at your shit pan. I know, I know, I know. If you're struggling to get enough protein in your diet, you need to up your egg game. They are just so good for you and such high in nutrition, low in fat if you take out the yolks, high in fat if you keep the yolks in. I mean, it's just an all round winner. I mean, this is only social media, so I'm not 100% sure if it is true, but there was a study done that I saw that if you give one egg to a kid a day, his IQ is just gonna be generally better than if you didn't give him that egg. So my little man, my little boy, will be eating six eggs a day. <laughs> After a couple months on those six eggs, He'll be turning into Einstein. But I put this on my Instagram the other day. I did a poll basically saying, do you clean while you're cooking? Or do you clean whenever you're done cooking? You know, while I'm cooking, what I'll do is I'll clean everything that I've used while everything else is cooking. So whenever I'm done, I don't have any more cleaning to do. I'm definitely one to do my cleaning while I'm cooking. So after I'm done eating, when I'm feeling full, I don't have to then come clean the kitchen. I'm a multitasker, what can I say? One whole avocado going in. I'm not gonna lie though, yeah, after this meal, I'll be in the gym or training and I'll just be burping and tasting this for the next like two or three hours. It's probably because of this, to be fair. Roasted garlic pepper. This is actually such a great seasoning. I'm not saying wherever you are in the world, you're gonna have this one, but this is what makes the avocado actually taste good. Without this, I'm not eating avocado. I don't care. If you can eat avocado with no seasoning and truly enjoy it, you're a freak. I don't care, you're an absolute freak. I know. I'm not even joking. I, I, train, I train in the gym, hours. Got muscles like this. I get a forearm burn from twisting salt. I'm not even joking. That's actually the only comment I'm getting at the moment on my Instagram. Look at his forearms. He doesn't even train his forearms. You're actually right. I haven't trained my forearms in like 15 years. So I've started to now. I mean, they're coming out a little bit. I can't believe I'm admitting to not training my forearms. People don't train their calves. I train my calves. See, oh. how they looking? Yeah, man, good. They look all right? Yeah, see, look at that. See, that should be there. Because I started training these like three, four years ago, and I started these about a couple months ago. Do not neglect your forearms. 
hmm, doesn't this look appealing? Well, to me it does. I mean, other people out there, you see them like making like avocado spread perfectly on a bit of toast, a little bit of chili on top with their perfect little eggs. I do not do that. I mix up my avocado like that and I put it in here like that. That would be my And that is how I do it. I mean, it doesn't taste that bad, but I'm not eating for flavor as much these days because I'm just all about the results. Depends on how far you wanna go into it on then how far your meals are gonna look very basic or they're gonna look really amazing. The people's uh, meals who look really amazing aren't gonna have the crazy physiques. No one has a crazy physique and is really whipping up all these fancy ass meals. You have to be eating very basic meals. Obviously in the evening, I'll make it a little bit more interesting. But when you're eating like six meals a day, you're not gonna make everyone like a five-star Michelin chef style meal, are you? No. So to make it even easier for yourself, make it very basic and simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Simple, six egg whites, three yolks, one avocado, let's go. Just getting set for some home cardio. The only piece of equipment that I do have at home relating to the gym is a spin bike and I absolutely love it for cardio. Obviously I like boxing as well, but when I'm at home, I just smash out the spin bike. So I'm gonna give you guys my go-to hit workout that burns fat throughout the whole day, baby. That's why I love HIIT training. Because you don't just burn calories while you're on the bike, you burn calories throughout the rest of the day. Whenever you're doing low intensity cardio, you're just burning calories while you're doing it. Let's roll. Literally, <laughs> no joke, my fiance had to buy an extra cushion <laughs> for these seats. Because no joke, if you haven't done spinning before, the next day, yes, your legs will hurt, but your gooch pain is unreal. But after you do it for a while, then it stops hurting. So what you actually need to do is build up your gooch strength. How weird is that? <laughs> this is exactly how I do my hit workouts. Come on the spin bike, a five minute warm up, just progressing the resistance just a little bit, but still keeping it nice and loose. And I'll see the music goes on when five minutes starts, and then it is 30 seconds as fast as I can, 100% with the resistance up. So I turn the resistance up, 100% for 30 seconds, then I'll turn the resistance back down, and then I'll just be steadily moving for one minute. And then I'll repeat this until it says, 25 minutes on the timer, then that leaves me with a five minute cool down. Yes, I am slightly out of breath just from talking, but um, the key here is to really get your heart rate up as high as possible within that 30 seconds. And then within the minute to get your heart rate all the way back down, heavy deep breaths, moving very steadily, just trying to recover and get that heart rate back down, ready to smash it again for the next 30 seconds. Oh baby, let's do this. So it's just coming up to five minutes. So I'm gonna crank that resistance up. Uh, and then 30 seconds. Uh, 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 uh. And then the resistance back down. Big deep breaths. Slowly bring that pace back down, but still moving. Recovering, because we're picking up the pace next time. It never gets easier if you keep working hard. Let's go. And that is 20 minutes done of HIIT training with a five minute warm up, five minute cool down. Oh, and to get lean and stay lean, I'll be doing this three times a week if I'm not doing boxing. So if I'm doing boxing two or three times as well, then I'll just do this once or twice. But really no more than three times with these badass hit workouts. Oh my. Now it is time for that post-workout shake in my favorite blender. <laughs> I've had this, no joke, 12 years. It is absolutely shitty. It's got like 10 years of old protein in the bottom, but I love it. <laughs> so what's in the shake? We're having oats, banana, peanut butter, creatine, protein water, oh shit, and water, and some milk. Everything within my go-to protein shake that I've had since day one. All right, so first is a little bit of water, way more milk, and no, I'm not gonna exactly calculate it. I've been doing this 15 years. I know roughly what it looks like, and my body's not gonna be like, oh dear, you've had a couple extra oats. It's gonna be fine. There's that one oat. There we complain about. 
peanut butter. I've said this before, I'll say it again. If you want to get the peanut butter smoothly out of here, wet your spoon. Then you get your big old scoop. Watch this. As if that would happen if I didn't. I'll show you actually, look. Here's a spoon. Here's a spoon with no water. <laughs> you see the difference? Obviously, it's, obviously it's still falling, but there's loads left on the spoon. There's not loads in that one. Okay, the demonstration didn't go exactly to plan, but it was all right. <laughs> Here's the banana I would be using, but here I have one from earlier that I will use, and it's half a banana, well, almost. A scoop of creatine, boom. What brand of creatine do I use? Basically, any that is just creatine monohydrate, monohydrate, five grams a day. And then we've got two scoops of whey protein. Yes, I said two scoops. 25 grams there, or 24, and another 24. Oh, you can't digest that? Watch me. I reckon this is shape number like 13,000. Even sounds old. Man, this has almost had it. Look at that thing, oh my. And then it drips like, it drips stuff as I walk, but it's usually like a black liquid. It doesn't look nice. And then I down it straight out of the blender. What else would you do? Down in one, baby. And that is the start to my mornings. I'll have the six egg whites, three yolks and avocado as my first meal. I'll do some cardio or I'll do some weights. And then I have my post-workout shake. And I've been making gains off this shake for like 15 years. But we do have to remember that it is all about the nutrition, which is far more important. I could basically stop having that protein shake and swap it for some real food. And I'd probably look a little bit better. Because food is obviously better than whey protein shakes. But they are key to helping you up your protein if you are struggling to get it within your day. And it is simple things like having more eggs, tins of tuna, whey protein shakes, just packs of turkey as long as it is like healthy or chicken, just to make it easy for you. If I'm on the go, I'm not gonna leave the house without something ready to eat because I know that my body is gonna get hungry, I want some protein, and you are limited more often than not if you are out and about. So don't hesitate to buy that extra little bit of tuna, that extra bit of eggs, or the extra bit of turkey. Just be able to take with you out and about to always make sure you're getting your protein. Because when I'm eating any meal, the main thing I'll do, here's my meal, here's my carbs, my veg, my protein. Protein first, and then my, and then my carbs and my veg. So I'm always gonna aim for the higher protein over any other source. So don't forget to keep your protein high. This is key for muscle growth. Don't be limited by this 25 grams of meal bullshit. I know I'm gonna probably get some hate for that, but I've been doing it for a very long time, having around 40 grams per meal, around that number, maybe 50 grams, sometimes even higher. I'm not one to judge exact numbers. Just go all out, try different things, guys. There's a learning process to this game and it's called fitness and there's no finish line. Make it happen. Subscribe, comment, you know the vibes. Let's go.